Welcome to technical drawing. Today we'll see this sum. We have front view, top view. We need to draw cutting plane line like this at 45 degree. So we have to draw front view, sectional top view, and auxiliary top view. So first I will draw the object after the cutting plane line, which will be there. So that portion will be dark. So I will draw front view dark, the remaining portion. In top view I will do naming. Same way in front view also. Now if you see A is cut, so P A dash, E is cut, P E dash. So that way you can write name and this over here you'll get two points. Whenever you cut top surface you get two points. That you need to project like this. So on A you will get P A. On B you will get P B. Here P U. Here it is P V. P D. And P E. I will draw the remaining object dark. This will be dark. Now, the object is this way. And it is cut at 45 degree. So this is just for explanation. This is how it looks. So this portion will be hatched. Now I will draw, this is sectional top view. Now we have to draw auxiliary top view. So for that, first we will draw auxiliary, which is inclined at 45 degree. Auxiliary plane, which is inclined at 45 degree. And then we will draw 45 degree from here, from the object. This is C point, this is Y. I'll extend this. This is X1, Y1, this auxiliary plane. This you can draw anywhere. This is inclined at 45 degree because uh, so then this will be also inclined at 45 degree. This has to be 90. Let's say this is 60 degree. Then this will be at 30. If this is 30, then this will be at 60. Remember this. Right now we are doing 45, 45. So you draw a line from C dash. Same way you draw a line from B dash, D dash. And A dash, E dash. So we are taking the top point. Now we'll take x, y to a and we'll cut from x1, y1. This is a. See this. Then we will take x, y to e and we'll cut from here. That will be e. x, y to b. Then x, y to d. x, y to c. So we got the top part. We'll join this with a, b, c, d, e. All these lines when we join you'll get pentagon. So this is the top surface of the prism. Same way we need to project bottom one. So I'm just writing naming. So then you can project from A dash E dash the bottom one. B dash D dash and C dash. X Y to A. X Y to E. See this. I can do shortcut also. I can just project for A the top one. Then project E from the top and the E dash line. So that way it will be faster and since we know it's a prism it will be on the same line so we got the bottom pentagon now which part will be dark first of all we'll try and draw boundary line will be dark see in this case 
there are two pentagon which one will be dark the so lower one lower one will won't be dark why because you can't see the behind part so what we'll do we'll do this inside see wala part dotted this will be dark this will be dark because a and e is nearer to observer see so this will be dark extreme boundary will be dark this way you will get auxiliary top view then pupv you extend pupv from here this is pu this is pv then you extend b and d wait it's not proper hmm so this is point pb and pd on respective lines so naming will help you over here you will know where it is getting cut then pape p a dash p e dash you project wherever it will cut on a that is p a and wherever it will cut on e that is p e then you join all this line so then you'll get the auxiliary part this is auxiliary top view and then i will draw the remaining part now this is dotted inside one then we can do hatching now see when i do hatching at 45 degree it looks thoda weird so then you can do at some different angle also there is no such a rule since It, the object is inclined at forty five, and if I'll do hatching also at forty five, it looks slight off. So to avoid that, we will use different angle. So I hope everyone has understood this. Thank you.